back to my channel. So if you are new here, this is my husband, Devin. We have been married for two years and he's in the Air Force. And our anniversary was on Thursday. It was our two year wedding anniversary. So I thought that we would do a video. <laughs> So I thought that we would do a video about things that we didn't expect about marriage. Um, I couldn't decide if it was going to be like things we learned about marriage so far or things that we didn't expect about marriage so far. But I think we're going to do things we didn't expect. Yeah, I feel like we didn't, we learned. We haven't learned a whole lot because, it, you know, two years isn't very long. But um, I thought this it would be easier for us to think of yeah. the other thing. So if you're ready, then let's get started. So what's one thing that you didn't expect about being married? Um, I don't know. We got, we got, <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Um, come on here. He's just going to sit in our lap. Okay. Cause he's going to be like this the whole time. Um, <laughs> okay. So, um, I don't know. Since we got married pretty young, we got married at a high school. So in high school, um, like when I would hang out with my friends, they'd be like, all right, bro, let's, let, you know, get a bunch of people together. We hang out and it's like Victoria, like really wasn't invited. But like now, even if it's like just a bunch of guys hanging out, like, like that I work with, like, they're like, uh, yeah, man, you, let's hang out. And I'm like, okay, cool. Is it something Victoria can come to? And they're like, look at me like I'm like stupid. They're like, yeah. Like I have a buddy who's like, I wouldn't invite you anywhere where your wife couldn't go. So. It was just weird. It's like a different environment when you're married. I keep changing this because I can't tell for center. I think that's better. Like people think we're like a package. Yeah, people we're know together. we're a package deal when we're mm -hmm. married, but it's a little different when you're when you're dating. Yeah. Um, something that I didn't expect was how easy the transition would be for us to be living together, which I know is not the case for everybody because a lot of people say that like it's a big di like difference when you're living together. Um, but I feel like once we moved in together, it was kind of like we'd always lived together, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I felt like that was a lot easier. Like I feel like we've always lived together. We we do really well with that, but I feel like that's yeah. not the case for most people. I feel like you don't have to really live together before you're together because you can just tell how someone is and you can tell how they are by the way they keep their stuff. And Like I'm not a super clean person, but I'm definitely, I would say I'm definitely cleaner than most yeah. guys. Yeah. And Victoria could tell that through my room and stuff when I was in high school. Uh -huh. People are more receptive here too. Like they don't think about me being married. Like when I got here, I was like, yeah, I'm married. Like, oh, cool. Like they're not like, you know, are they? What do you mean? Like they weren't like, how old are you? Oh, like as we, as we've been married longer, you think? Yeah, like I like I got here at my base and I was like, yeah, I'm married. And they're like, oh, sweet man, like cool. But like, yeah, when we first got married, I, we got all the time where people would be like, oh, you're married, or they couldn't believe that we were married, or they would ask how old we were. But I feel like now that we've been married for two years, people are it's like normal now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Which, I mean, we did get married young, but you can't please everybody. Yeah, I, um, I'm i 21 and Devin is 20, and we got married when Devin was, were you 18? 18, yeah. 18 and I was 19, so, yeah. yeah. And if people care about your life that much to actually be upset about it, then they need to figure something else out. Yeah, if they're Another not paying... source pay of happiness. Listen, if they're not paying your bills, their opinion doesn't matter. Yeah. So nobody's opinion matters but your own. Yeah. Um, okay, so something else that I didn't expect about getting married was how much people ask you about having kids. <laughs> Is that a good one? Yeah. That's a good one. Um, I know Devin's thinking of my mom right now. <laughs> Don't put this in there. No, she'll think it's funny. Like, people all the time are like, so, when are you going to have kids? And I get it a lot on my YouTube channel. Like, people... And we love, I love kids. Mm -hmm. We want kids. I want a lot of kids, but just not right now. Yeah, we get asked all the time when we're going to have kids, and I think it's funny because we're so young, and it's, like, a lot of fr people I know my age have kids already or are pregnant, and that's mm -hmm. fine, but for us, we're not... <laughs> We have this baby. We have this baby right here to take care of. Look at, he's literally a baby. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. He went to daycare today, so he's extra sleepy. He's so cute. Sherman, is there anything you didn't expect when you got new owners? <laughs> he's like, well, they don't let me do everything I want to do. And I don't like it. Oh. A lot of people say that your life is like over or like you're signing your life away oh, yeah. when you get married. <laughs> yeah. And I don't feel like that's true at all. Like, I mean, if you're ready to get married to somebody, like 
you don't see it that way anyways, like sacrificing anything. I mean, marriage is a lot about sacrifice, but I feel like marriage doesn't mean that you're sacrificing your life. Yeah. I feel like it's better because you get to share everything with somebody and you get to come home to somebody every day and you get to have a partner for everything that you do in life. So I think that, I think that that is like really special the special thing about marriage but i know like a lot of people say like oh didn't you say that you heard somebody that was like oh my friend signed their life away next yeah. weekend or something and yeah you were like oh they're joining the military and <laughs> yeah. they were like no he's yeah. getting married <laughs> i definitely think it takes a level of maturity to get married because there's a lot of things that you have to deal with in marriage um like compromise money big decisions <laughs> sherman just fell um big decisions that you have to make and so it's a big decision but like I said, I think it's funny that people act like you're like giving up a bunch of stuff to be married, but that's not yeah. true because Devin hangs out with his friends all the time. All the time. All the time. I'm My best a, friend is like really good friends with Victoria. AJ. Yeah. Um, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really have that many girlfriends or else like I would go out with my friends more, but I kind of prefer to just stay home. But I mean, we spend, you know, a considerable amount of time apart from each other and not spending time with each other. One more thing we could say is that we didn't, expect that we would need a budget as much as we do would you say that budgeting your money how important it is oh like how important oh yeah how important budgeting your money is oh so, um but i feel like it's so easy when you get married to just get comfortable and like you know eat out all the time and spend your money on stupid stuff and which we we still do we're yeah not, we still we're not perfect with we our don't budget. follow we don't follow dave to a t because right now we don't have to but like say I got out of the military and I started working part time because I was going to school. Like we'd have to really buckle down. But like right now, like we're investing enough money a month and we have so little bills a month that mm -hmm. we don't have to fall into a T, which has its pros and cons. Yeah, but I would say Sherman's about to bark. What? You want attention? But it's really important to make a budget so that you don't, you know, become broke or yeah. especially when I, I find so many people that have enough money to like live comfortably, but they're so broke because of their spending habits. So I it's mean, like half, half of America. Uh, I feel like we've learned, you know, some things over the last two years of marriage. If you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did and want to see more videos on like marriage, I know this is kind of all over the place. Hopefully it turns out well and I can post it. Uh, but if you guys want to see other videos about marriage or what have you, then let me know. Lady. Ah. Give me your Paul. Give me your Paul. <laughs> oh, dude, that was awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> no. Okay, so if you guys want to see any more videos about marriage, then let me know. Um, otherwise, we'll end this video here. And... We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll link Devin's channel down below like I did in my last vlog. Humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. Yep. They're going to be posting more videos. So, we'll see you guys in our next video. Come here. Come here. Say bye, Sherman. Bye. bye.